Want to know what the real estate market is going to look like for the rest of the year of 2020? Well, I'll go over all you need to know, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Ebony Hicks and I'm your go-to girl for real estate in the Bay Area. We have tons of videos and more to come for everything you need to know about living in the Bay Area. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified of our videos weekly. All right, so can you guys believe that we are only in the last few months of this year? I think we can all say 2020 has been a crazy year for sure, especially in the real estate side. Jobs stopping, Every some people working from home, some people considered essential workers, and now everyone back in school, learning from home, and now we're having to deal with all this crazy weather here, all the fires. It has just been a lot. So hopefully we can end this year on a good note, and all the changes the real estate industry has, got, has gone through, We've all had to make adjustments here and there, but we got through it and are still going to get through it. But it looks like for the fourth quarter of this year, we're still going to be in a seller's market. So it looks like we've been in a seller's market all of this year. Supply has been pretty low, but the demand has still been pretty high. People still are looking to buy in this area. I think the big thing that has to do with that is interest rates have been at and historic low this whole year. And it's just so crazy uh, how low it is and still is now for people to buy. So that interest to buy for those people that are still working and are able to, when, are taking advantage of that, which is a good thing. So if you've been thinking about selling, but was still aren't too sure, I still say that right now is the move. There are plenty of buyers out there that are wanting to buy and prices have not dropped. This whole year has been pretty steady with home prices in the Bay Area. Still a little bit on the higher side, but that's also because of the low interest rates. You know, you gotta have a little give and take there. So if you're wanting to make that move, you know, make sure you contact me so I can help you with that. And for my buyers, because there are so many of you out there, you know, you just wanna be ready to come in with your best offers that you can give out because a lot of them have been multiple offers. And don't get discouraged when your first offer does not get accepted. And let's take a look at some reports to see how we've been doing so far this year. Okay, so the most recent market update we have is from July of this year. And first we're gonna start with Contra Costa County. As you can see, the median price at that time was 785,000. There's over a thousand homes for sale. Uh, the average days on market is 12 and as you can see sellers are still getting asking price which is a good thing all right and looking at solano county now as you can see the median price for homes has dropped from contra costa county so you're looking at 500,000. and homes for sale at the moment in july were 468 Days on market are also longer, going up to 29 days as the average, uh, but they are still getting 100% uh, on getting at least the asking price for these sales, which is good for sellers. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. So we have Alameda County here. This is a little bit closer to San Francisco, so the home prices are gonna be a little bit higher. Um, as you could see, the median price is around a million. A uh, little over 900 homes for sale. Days on market are pretty fast here too, so that's at 12 days average. And home selling are getting at least asking price, if not getting a little bit over. So as you can see here, going over these three counties, that the market has been pretty good this year. And for those of you that are still waiting on that crash to happen, you're still gonna have to wait a little bit longer because we still don't see that happening anytime soon. And housing prices haven't even dropped yet. So if that's what you're waiting for to buy, I, I hope you don't wait too long and miss out on the house that you really want. Well, I hope you guys found this information helpful. And if you guys have any questions, need some help finding 
where you want to live or need help buying or selling, feel free to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even send me a little message in a bottle. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your move to the Bay Area. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.